Okay, so this time we are going to discuss the graphs of quadratic function defined by A multiplied by the square of the difference between X and H plus K, where A is greater than 0 or A is less than 0. Okay, so last time we have discussed uh, in our previous video um, the behavior of the graph of the fun quadratic function in the form f of x defined by ax squared. So this time, let us take this form. Okay, let's wait. Okay. So we will take this form of quadratic function ax squared plus k and we also take the value of a which is greater than 0. So we hope that at the end of this video you, are, you may be able to describe the behavior of the quadratic curve defined by a. Um, multiplied by the square of the difference between x, x and h plus k as k takes a different values with vertex 0, k, and a is equal to 1. Okay, so let us consider the quadratic function of the form ax squared uh, with vertex at the origin as our reference um, graph okay okay so we are now in the quadratic function of the form ax squared plus k uh, in which our vertex hk is equal to 0 k okay. for example we have here the quadratic function defined by x squared plus 1 and the corresponding uh, table of values if x is equal to 0, the value of the function is 1. And therefore, the vertex of our the vertex of this function is at 0, 1. No? So it has the coordinates 0 and 1. And it's located here. If x is equal to negative 1 and positive 1, the value of the function is the same, which is positive 2. So that's why we have these two points. If x is equal to negative 2 and positive 2, it has the same, uh, the value has the same, I mean the function has the same value, which is 5. And so we have these two points. So our graph uh, looks like this one. Okay. Now let us observe closely. Now it seems like our, the graph of, x squared plus 1 is identical to that graph of ax squared, no? So, so the blue graph uh, seems to be identical to that uh, with the red graph. Okay, let's try to look at this one. Okay, here. So they are really identical, only that the graph of x squared plus 1 with k, with the value of k, which is equal to 1, is translated one unit upward. Okay. So let's take another example. We have here the quadratic function defined by x squared plus 2 with this corresponding table of values. If x is equal to 0, the value of the function is 2. So the vertex of the function the vertex of the graph is at 0 and 2, or it has the coordinate 0 and 2. It has the x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 2. So we have the point located at this part. If x is equal to negative 1 and positive 1, the value of the function is the same, which is 3. If x is equal to negative 2 and positive 2, the value of the function is the same, which is 6. Okay, 
So our graph is, okay, again, our graph is, uh, looks like identical to the, to our reference graph, which is X squared, the red graph. Okay, so let's look at here. So they are identical, only that the graph of the quadratic function x squared plus 2 is translated 2 units upward. Okay. Okay, here is another example. This time, our k is negative 1. No? If x is equal to 0, then the value of the function is negative 1. So our vertex hk has the coordinates 0 and negative 1. Or it has an it has x coordinate 0 and y coordinate uh, y coordinate negative 1. So the k value or the value of k is equal to negative 1. Okay, let's look at here its graph. Again, let us observe. Okay, so identical to the graph, our reference graph x squared and translated one unit downward. Why do you think it is so? Okay, because our k is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we have here the quadratic function x squared minus 2. So if x is 0, the value of the function, which is also the value of our k, is equal to negative 2. Okay, so our vertex hk has the coordinates 0 and negative 2. So our k is equal to negative 2. Let's look at the graph. Okay, so again, let us observe. Okay, our graph is translated two units downward. Okay, so now let us try to summarize what we have discussed um, about the graph of quadratic function of the form ax squared plus k. So our reference graph, as we have mentioned earlier, is the quadratic function defined by x squared, which has k equals, which has the value of k, which is equal to 2. And its vertex is at the origin. Now, the quadratic function x squared plus 1 has the value of k is equal to 1, and this has the graph. Okay, it's translated one unit upward. Okay, so another graph defined, another graph of quadratic function defined by x squared plus 2, where k is equal to 2. So the vertex is at 0, positive 2. Okay, so the graph uh, with reference to our base um, graph is translated two units upward. Another quadratic uh, function defined by x squared minus 1 has k equals negative 1 and let's look at the its graph and its behavior. Okay, so the graph is translated one unit downward from our reference graph x squared. Okay, so we have here another quadratic function defined by x squared minus 2 where k is equal to negative 2. Okay, let's observe. Okay, 
the graph is translated two units downward uh, from the reference graph x squared. Okay. Now, the value of k in the function determines the translation of the curve. The curve is translated k units upward if it is positive. And the curve is translated k units downward if it is negative. Okay, so I hope uh, you're able to follow our discussions and um, understand how we are going to describe the graph of quadratic functions with different values of k and the form ax squared plus k. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you subscribe my YouTube channel and do not forget to um, click the bell for the notification of incoming videos. Thank you very much.